Hello guys, my name is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In this video, I'm just going to give an overview of the process of meiosis. The process of meiosis is one of the processes that takes place during the formation of garments. Remember, in the previous video, I explained that garments come from the primordial germ cells, which are located in the walls of the yolk sac. And these primordial germ cells, they do migrate from the walls of the yolk sac to the gonad region. And the process of gametogenesis, it is simply helped by the process of meiosis. So the process of meiosis is an important process which is also known as the reduction division. Why is it called the reduction division? This is because the cells are being divided from the diploid number to an haploid number. Let's quickly look at where this process takes place. The process of meiosis normally takes place in the sperm cell and also in the egg cell. The sperm cell is found in the male and the egg cell is found in the female. The sperm is also known as the spermatosome, whereas the egg is also known as the oocyte. Let's look at this same process. The process of meiosis is divided into two. We have meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Therefore, it's very important for each one of us to know the differences between the two processes. Okay, the process of meiosis 1 is divided into four phases, which is prophase 1, metaphase 1, Anaphase 1 and telophase 1. The process of meiosis 2 is also divided into four stages, which is prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and also telophase 2. Let's quickly look at meiosis 1. So, meiosis 1, the first step is the prophase. During the process, a cluster of chromosome is seen and it is during this stage where you can easily see the chromosome. So this cluster of chromosome, it is known as the chromatin. Now, this chromatin, you are going to experience that. It is during this process one, you are going to see the process of DNA replication and the chromatin will surely pair to form the chromosome. So this chromosome, like we said in the previous class, I said a chromosome is made up of two hands. So you have the long arm and the short arm. The long arm is known as the Q arm and the short arm is known as the pig arm. From this, you are going to find that this chromosome is having what we are calling the sister chromatide. So we have the sister chromatide, this one and that one. Why are they called sister chromatide? They are called sister chromatide because they have the same genetic information. Let's look at this. The sister chromatide, which are forming the chromosome, we pair up to form what we are calling a tetroid. A tetroid consists of four chromatides. Remember, this only happens in the process of process one of meiosis one. After the formation of the tetroid, you are going to understand that since these guys are together and this one chromosome 
it's consisting of what we are calling the genes. Now, if you look at these genes, there are different segments of genes. And these different segments of genes are known as alleles. Alleles are just a different segment of genes. Remember, genes are responsible for our genotype and our genetic behavior. Now, it is during this process of prophase 1 where there is crossing over. Crossing over involves the exchange of genes. If you look here, you find that our friend in Maroon has gone on the blue side. And the guy who is on the blue side has gone on the Maroon side. This process of crossover is very important as it causes variation in organisms. The process of crossing over is also known as recombination. And it is during this stage where organisms are able to see variety. So, you are going to observe that all the chromosomes are now different. That is the reason why each of these sperms is having different type of chromosome. That is the reason why you are going to find that offspring are different from the parents. Same applies with the oocytes. The oocytes are also having different chromosomes. Why? Because of the recombination which took place at prophase 1. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just an illustration which is showing the variety between the parents and the children. You are going to discover that the children are not look like I was saying, there is variation between the parents and the children because of this process of crossing over. So this is what we can say about prophets. Now, we are going to observe that there will be an appearance of speed of fibers and also the centrio will go on the opposite side. When this happens, it means that we are now at anaphase, at metaphase, sorry. So at metaphase, you are going to observe that the, the chromosome will line up at the equator, which is also known as the metaphase plate. And then from there, speed of fibers will go and attach on the centrio of the of the chromosome and from there they will be pulled toward the pores of the cell when they are pulled remember that what is being pulled it is a set of chromosomes what is being pulled it is a set of chromosomes and when they are being pulled then we have reached the anaphase process of phase. So, as you can see, the chromosomes have been put. So, from there now, the cell will try to separate into two, forming two different cells. It is during this process of telophase where now we are going to have a separation of these chromosomes and we are going to have two different cells with different chromosomes. So after that the process of cytokinesis it just helps to separate these two cells. Remember these cells are having different chromosomes. So What's so important about meiosis 1? So meiosis 1 is important because it leads to the formation of an haploid number of chromosomes. That means that these daughter cells are totally different from the parent cell. 
This is one of the important aspects of meiosis 1. It leads to the formation of an amploid number, of course. So the daughter cells now will undergo the process of meiosis 2. During meiosis 2, remember, there is no DNA replication during prophase 1. And there is no crossing over. Instead, all we see are the sister chromatide in the words in the cell. And then speed of fibers will be sent. And when they are sent, these chromosomes will align themselves at the equator. And we are now going to have metaphase 2. From there, these cells this chromosome will be put towards the end of the what of the pores of the cell in meiosis one it was the chromosomes that went towards the ends or towards the pores of the cell but in meiosis two you're going to observe that it is the sister chromatids that are being separated so there is a separation there and we are now in anaphase 2. After that, we are now going to have the telophase 2. And during the telophase 2, with the help of cytokinesis, these cells will surely separate. Here we have four different cells. And these cells are what we are calling the gametes. So ladies and gentlemen, after visualizing this, let's quickly now look at the theory part of what we have just learned. Okay, so let's quickly look at the theory aspect of what we have just discussed. So when you talk of um, meiosis, like we have stated, meiosis is just the process that simply involves the division of um, a diploid cell into four daughter hamploid cell. Okay, so um, meiosis is just a specialized cell division that occur only during the production of what gametes. So let's quickly look at that. So um, like I've said, I've simply said meiosis, meiosis is the process is the process that takes place in okay in the formation of what in the formation of who? gametes i'm pretty sure we we are all aware of what these gametes are we are all aware of what these gametes are because i explained in the previous video about gametes and where they originate from and i encourage each one of us to make sure that we have mastered that so uh, meiosis it is being involved in the formation of what we are going in, gametes and we said gametes um gametes have a, a have an amploid number of chromosomes so gametes are what are amploid okay so gametes are amploid and when we say they are amploid that means that they have what one n remember i initially said that the, the word ploid simply means that the number of what chromosome in a cell so for example in human there are 23 chromosomes in a what? In a gamete. And when you talk of this gamete, we are simply talking about the sperms. Okay? And what? The oocytes. We are talking about the sperms and the oocytes. These are the two things that we are referring to. So, all this is being done by the help of the process of meiosis. Alright. Now, let's look at uh, special events that take place in meiosis one special events 
already have talked of honor fees, I've talked of profits, um, and also I've also mentioned about the two types of um, meiosis. So let's quickly talk of the important point you need to take note of when we talk of meiosis one guys what i'm writing should be understood okay so important events important events that takes place in meiosis one includes make sure that you know these are uh, important events that takes place in meiosis two because you'll be examined the examiner will ask you specifically which type so the first one is um, is what we are calling crossing over i've already mentioned in my previous um in my previous explanation so crossing over it just involves an exchange exchange of segments of dna segments of dna okay it is just involved uh it just helps in the exchange of segment of dna or the swapping we can say swapping of what of genes swapping of genes so genes are being swapped during the process of crossing over so this process is also known as this process is also is also known as recombination this process is also known as what recombination because there is combination and exchange of segments of what dna so it is during this process that's where now we have vari variation in organisms specifically we are talking about human being because of that that's where now we are going to have what variation okay so from there we can also talk of another important uh, point which is alignment alignment so alignment is one of the important thing that happens in the wati in meiosis one so during this process um there is alignment of 46 okay there is an alignment of 46 what homologous chromosome 46 homologous chromosome homologous chromosome so 46 homologous chromosomes they normally align themselves at the what at the metaphase plates at the metaphase plate remember during the process of metaphase the chromosome they align themselves at the uh, at the equator which is the metaphase place then the other thing that happens during this process is what synapsis so many of us they don't know what this synapsis means so when you talk of synapsis it just involves pairing of homologous chromosome pairing of homologous chromosome homologous chromosome so this thing it is happening chromosome this thing is happening during what? Prophase 1. Remember, during prophase 1, you're going to have what? The pairing of homologous chromosome. And what is it going to give you? It's going to give you what? Tetrad. It's going to give you tetrad, as we observed from the, the previous explanation. It's going to form what? Tetrad. And during that process, that's when we are having this process, so-called D synapsis. The next one we need to look at, which is disjunction. Disjunction. So these are the important facts that happen during meiosis 1. So when you talk of disjunction, it is now involving the separation. 
separation of what? Uh, separation of the homologous chromosome. Separation of the homologous chromosome. If you remember, this is happening at what? This is happening at anaphase 1. Anaphase 1. So this process is happening at anaphase 1. Now, we need to remember that during this process, the, the, what? the chromatides do not split. So the chromatides, chromatides do not split. The chromatides do not split. Instead, it is the chromosome which are splitting. It is the chromosome which are splitting. And this only happens in what? In meiosis 1. Now, the last one is, um, is the cell division. Remember what I said. During the process of meiosis 1, you are going to find that the diploid number changes to a T hamploid. Diploid number changed to a T hamploid. Diploid number changed to hamploid. So it is during meiosis 1, that's when now you are going to have a what? Um, a division or a separation or a change in the number of chromosomes from diploid to what? To haploid. Remember, haploid, it is having half the number of chromosome in the what? In the diploid. In short, during this process, that's when now you are going to have uh, 23 duplicated D chromosomes. 23 duplicated D chromosome. Okay. So, let's now quickly look at meiosis. Let's now quickly look at meiosis. Two, what are the important features that happens during the process of meiosis two? Okay. This is really interesting. So, when you talk of meiosis two, the first thing you need to understand is that there is no synapsis. There is no what? No synapsis. There is no, no synapsis. Okay? So, during the, the process of, uh, during the process of meiosis 2, there is no pairing of a T chromosome at T prophecy 1. No formation of tetrahyd. No formation of tetrahyds. No formation of tetrahyds. Eh? There is no formation of tetrahyds. Then what else are you going to know? There is no crossing over. There is no crossing over. Because already crossing over has taken place in what? In meiosis one. So in meiosis two, there is no need of exchange of the what of the gamut. So no crossing over in meiosis two. Okay. So um, alignment in this case, yes, chromosome um, alignment takes place, but this time around it is the twenty three. Okay, it is the twenty three duplicated. It is the 23 duplicated chromosome. Okay? It is the 23 duplicated D chromosomes that align themselves at the metaphase. In meiosis 1, in meiosis 1, it was 43. But this time, it is, um, it is what? 23 chromosomes that are aligning themselves and this is happening at meiosis C or metaphase 2 so from there now what else are you going to uh, what are you going to to understand another thing that you need to understand is that the centromere um the centromere it does what it separates what you are going to understand is that the centromere now will separate Okay, so let me quickly, um, okay, so the centromere, during um, what I was calling this junction, okay, during this junction, 
okay so during this this point you are going to understand that it is the duplicated okay it is the duplicated chromosome which separates to form 23 single chromosome so in short the there is splitting splitting of centromere centromere splitting of centromere centromere okay there is splitting of centromere okay or the chromatids are separated this time around it is the chromatids separate at the what this junction okay and then when you talk of the last part which is cell division what are the result so the result here is simply um the result of meiosis 2 is that there are four gametes which are formed so this is now when we talk of what cell division this is now when we talk of what cell division okay so four gametes are what formed four gametes are formed okay so this is very important for each one of us to understand four gametes are what are formed so ladies and gentlemen i'm encouraging you all to go through this which i have just explained to help you understand the process of meiosis what takes place in meiosis one and what takes place in meiosis two and then you should be able to differentiate the difference between these two guys so when you uh, know the differences between these two guys like for example in meiosis one there is crossing over in meiosis one there is synapsis okay in meiosis one it is the 46 chromosomes that undergo what the alignment and these chromosomes are what are homologous so with that information as someone who is doing embryology you need to make sure that you know that ladies and gentlemen in my next class i'm going to explain gametogenesis because we just said gametogenesis we said this uh this so-called uh gamete are formed by the process of what gametogenesis and of which this gametogenesis is divided into two there is spermatogenesis spermatogenesis genesis and what and the or genesis so we have two types of spermato or gametogenesis so we have or genesis and what um spermatogenesis so this is what i'm going to explain in my next uh class so make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you are able to follow up if at all you have the interest to register with excel academy which has proven beyond reasonable doubt to be the best academy in zambia please you can contact us on the number which is uh, positive 26 096 uh, 588 remember our classes are going to be seriously starting to take place on the 4th of december 4th of december 2022 so on this date we are seriously starting our classes at a very low place ladies and gentlemen this was dr possibility from excel academy have a blessed day thank you very much